This is a schematic representation of anatomy of inguinal canal. Pointed with the pain is the external oblique abdominis muscle having the direction of the fibers going forward, downwards and medially. This part represents the aponeurosis of the external oblique abdominis muscle. After reflecting this, the green part which we are seeing, this is the inguinal ligament which is formed by the upturned fibers of the free margin of external oblique abdominis. The extent of the inguinal ligament is from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. After coming to the pubic tubercle, some part of the ligament on the posterior side is triangular in shape and this is known as the lacunar ligament. The upper border of the lacunar ligament goes still further and backwards. This is known as the pectineal, pectineal ligament. The lacunar ligament forms the medial boundary of the femoral sheath. Now, after reflecting this, we can see the canal through which this spermatic cord is coming out. This is the inguinal canal. The extent of the inguinal canal is from the deep inguinal ring to the superficial inguinal ring. Deep inguinal ring is an opening in the fascia transversalis and superficial inguinal ring is the opening in the external oblique abdominis aponeurosis. As we can see here, after reflecting this external oblique abdominis muscle, the next muscle which is seen is the internal oblique abdominis muscle. Note the direction of the fibers is upwards, forwards and medially. This forms the roof of the inguinal ligament. After this comes the transversus abdominis muscle having the direction of the fibers transversely. This is the fascia transversalis. Now the inguinal ligament has anterior wall, posterior wall, roof and floor. Anterior wall in whole extent is formed by the skin, superficial fascia, external oblique abdominis muscle. The posterior wall is formed by the fascia transversalis in whole of the extent and medially it is formed by the conjoint tendon. Conjoint tendon is formed by the joining of aponeurosis of transversus abdominis and internal oblique muscle. The roof is formed by the arched fibers of the internal oblique muscle. Along with it, transversus abdominis also contributes to form the roof. The floor is formed by the inguinal ligament. The content of inguinal canal is the spermatic cord in case of males along with the genitofemoral nerve which forms a partial content. In case of females, it is a round ligament which forms the content along with the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve. Start. Revising again, this is the external oblique abdominis muscle with its aponeurosis. This is the superficial inguinal ring which is a defect in the aponeurosis of the external oblique abdominis. The upturned part of the external oblique abdominis forms the inguinal ligament with the extent from anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. This is the reflected part of the inguinal ligament. This is lacunar ligament and this is the pectineal ligament. This is internal oblique and transversus abdominis together forming the roof of the inguinal canal. This is fascia transversalis. This gap is the deep inguinal ring. The extent of inguinal canal is from deep ring to superficial ring. The contents are spermatic cord and genito genital branch of genitofemoral nerve in case of males and round ligament and genital branch of genitofemoral nerve in case of females.